Alright, so here is a video on my full music collection. And I'm going to be showing some stuff that was added to the collection that I got. So, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, really get right into it. So, I want to start off with my cassette collection here. First is the uh, Prince Emancipation three set box set right there because it is a three three part album for those that may not know here are some things that I have done right there um I do got new music dropping in the month of March and I'm gonna be doing a double album in other words by okay like you know how you have CD cases that carry two CDs in them? Well, what I'm doing, they're two different albums. And, you know, the side A is one album, side B is a whole another album. And I will be showing more of that when the time arrives. Then in the month of May, I'm going to be doing the same thing again. Dropping two albums in one. Because I do that because one, I like the double CD thing. Two, it does make it easier on me, especially money wise, where, you know, I'm not spending so much money on two separate things, where now I'm spending, you know, not as much money, but getting more from it with two things that are, you know, rolled into one. And I don't think I'll be doing any more cassettes, honestly. Um,. It, it takes a while, and I don't feel like sitting there doing all that. So, if anybody is expecting a cassette from me for this year, for my final year, you know, in music, you know, going on nine years, you know, I get tired. And now I just want to just chill and do other things, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Doing other things. I don't want to be, you know, just stuck in music, and... There's not going to be a cassette from me from this year. You know, the last cassette that I did that what was put out, which was a bad um, mixtape um, album. So, you know, that, that was really the last one. So, if anybody that's going to be expecting another cassette from me you know there's there's really not gonna be much more so or any at all and I know a lot of people do like when I do do the cassettes and if I do do the cassettes it's gonna be part of uh at this year's December and do um the straight out of a uh, you know Columbia cassette from the 2016 album version which I'm thinking you know, a lot of people would like now I know by the time you guys see this video it is you know January January 2019 um so I got the rest of this year to really think about if I'm going to be doing another cassette you know and if I do you know I'll you know I'll announce it like I'll I'll let it be known like hey you know, I'm going to be doing another cassette, blah, 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 this, that, and third. But, I really don't want to, but if I do, it's going to be at least 15, you know. No, not 15, it's going to be 10 at the most. 10 copies at the most. I say 10 copies because if I do do it, it's going to be 10 copies. I got to sit and make the first part for like an hour to get all the side A. I gotta figure out what all songs are gonna go inside A and what all songs are gonna go on side B. Once I do that, I gotta put the first one together. And then I gotta start duplicating it and I gotta get all my duplicate I gotta figure out which duplicators do I want to use and to get it, you know, make sure progress is done. 
And that takes me, you know, for 10 of them, you know, 10 to around 15 at the most, it takes me at least three days, half a week to do it. I'm looking at three days and three nights together within that week. And it gets tiring. It really does because I got to monitor the the cassettes as they're being duplicated. I got to make sure it doesn't go past or make sure it doesn't make sure I don't cut it short. You know, things out of that nature. So and it gets very stressful, especially especially when it comes to buying the cassettes. It, it gets really it, it gets me agitated. And then I'm sitting there. After that, figuring out, okay, man, I need to get me some other money so I can go ahead and get the artwork printed up. And then I'm looking at, you know, after the artwork's printed up, I gotta sit there and cut out the damn squares. Because, you know, it costs around 60 almost almost $100 per cut now when I go get it done. But, but it, it used to be cheaper. It really did. It used to be cheaper. But I ain't got, I ain't gonna feel like I want to be spending, you know, $60 to $100, you know, getting the artwork cut. So I cut it myself, which does take a while. And I get nervous, my hands start to shake, and I don't want it to be messed up, you know, when I'm cutting. Because, you know, I'm not the best when it comes to scissors at all. I'm just being honest with y'all. So, you know, if I do do a cassette, I do. If I don't, you know, I don't. I know, if anything, like, I really, if anything, what I do want to do will come in the month of, uh, November. I want to do t-shirts for the last project, which is, um, Straight out of Columbia Trilogy. Six CD set plus one bonus CD, so it's like seven. And I'm ordering 25 cases that hold six CDs in it. So, yeah, you know, I got a lot on my plate already. Luckily, I got, luckily, you know, I'm not tied down to no one. I'm not signed to, I'm not signed to anyone. And I'm glad that I'm not. So, you know, that gives me the opportunity chance to pick out my own months, schedule how I'm going to get these, you know, not just dropped, but made. And I don't have to worry about splitting money. I don't have to worry about losing money because it's just myself and then you know, always stick with the two places that I put my music in and we're going to gravitate towards, you know, the audiences. So there's that. But if anything, like I said, I know people like cassettes now. If I can try to fit in cassettes somewhere in between, I might, but yeah, I don't know. You know, if, if I do, I do. You know, if I don't, I don't. But if I do, what I'll do, I'll do 10 copies of Straight Out Columbia on cassette, 5 copies at High Faction, then another 5 over at Variety Record Shop, and then early November I'm going to be doing shirts, definitely. Most definitely doing shirts. And I want to do something like, like in a package thing, like if you get the CD, you're going to get a cassette and a free shirt. So it's a good package deal, and then after that, you know, I'm just about I'm pretty much done. Now, I know one thing I wouldn't mind doing, but it costs, like, a lot of money, is doing a vinyl. And holy crap, when I googled how much it costs to get a vinyl made, holy shit. I can't, I can't remember the numbers, but damn, that's expensive. Like, you're spending half a thousand dollars, what I do remember, right you're spending half a thousand dollars for four hundred fifty dollars just on one side and then you're spending another actually now I do remember you're spending four hundred and fifty dollars on one side then you spend another hundred fifty dollars on the other side I so on top of that you're spending five hundred to around six hundred and fifty dollars per copy on top of that not to mention if you want to do the cover art which me 
<laughs> already spending that much money. I'm cutting out the cover art. To just give me the labels with the stickers that go on the vinyl. And then give me the, the throw in the DJ vinyl, you know, casings. And I would imagine just for regular black and white text. With just a regular, you know, black or white case covers. It should be a bit cheap because black and white is like the cheapest colors that you can get made when printing artwork. And believe you me, you know, I would like to do, you know, a vinyl, but uh, that much money is a lot of money, man. It, it is. It, it, it's pretty expensive. So, you know, there's that. But, you know, I do got some things, you know, M, do M coming out. Um, I know I dropped a ton of music throughout the month of, God, October. Like, whoo. And I'm letting all that, let people gravitate towards it and catch up, you know, along with it at the most. And, I mean, just doing my thing, you know. I don't know what else I'm going to be doing. Actually, I do know what else. You know, after that, I do know what I'm going to be doing next. Once I'm done with this, but, you know. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, this is one of the ones I did added, Phil Collins. Um, This one has Into the Air Tonight, which is a great song. So, the reason why I got that one. This is another one that's added to the collection, Cameo, Word Up. Okay, album. I like the song Candy on there. It's a great one. Now, I wouldn't mind doing a full collection video on my movie collection, but I am waiting on that because there's some other ones that I'm looking into that I'm really wanting to get eventually. I am working towards. So, yeah. And I don't know when that video will be it may be sometime this year or, my, my, or maybe never i know people are starting to do movie collection videos their full collections and i and i and when i get to mine i'm gonna say this my video collection on my movies is the best collection just like the music just like my full music collection right now is the best music collection video And that's how I feel. to go and then I gotta load this video up it's gonna be a long ass video but hey and then that's it I'm going to load this video up, then we're going to get to my vinyls. 
so I'll go another another fuck. Oh well. Here goes my vinyl collection now. So we got a uh, TI versus TIP. Um, this is only side C and side D. Um, cause I got that at checkouts before they shut down. I was missing the other signs, but oh well. I think I got like a dollar or something. There's this one right there. It's a single vinyl. Right there. There's this one. Here's this one that was added for Christmas right there. How many guys remember this artist? That's when I got a sigh. I gotta try to get it out of this case. And there are some other vinyls I do want to get, but... I do want to get the diamond collection for the picture disc of the Michael Jackson vinyls that came out. It's a bit pricey though. There's one that was added around October, right there. Here's one that was added last or late last year or so. Um, first of the month single by Bone Thugs and Harmony. Um, here's oh this one. This one wasn't added up. I don't know. Here's one that was added. No, not this one. I think it's the one after this. Can't remember. Yeah, several of them that were just added for this collection to be exact. Okay, here's one right here. Digital Underground single. Uh, the group Tupac was in before... Excuse me, before he was Tupac. Yeah, there are some other uh, vinyls that I do want to get. Um, one of them is Michael Jackson History Video Disc. It's it's a vinyl, but it's like a big DVD. And it's book two that's blue that I want to get. And I do want to get the Diamond Collection. Like I said, it's the uh, picture discs vinyls for some of Michael's albums. Or the main ones that you know were out. That I really wouldn't mind adding to the collection and getting. I wouldn't mind getting the Grand Theft Auto 5 vinyl box set too as well. That's a bit expensive too. As far as right now, when it comes to music collecting, I'm, it's pretty much it's pretty much done. You know, I, I got formats that I wanted from the artists that I like from all three formats or two formats or on a certain, you know, formats. Because I haven't found anything else really to collect for any more music besides the stuff that I'm doing. And once that's done, be packing that away like I did my others. But the ones I mentioned, I do want to get. Matter of fact, I know there's one I haven't really 
bothered to hunt down right now. Um, to even add to that list, uh, one of them, you know, Shaka Khan, I uh, feel for you. I need that on audio CD because I already have that on vinyl and I already have that on cassette. Uh, next would be Paula Abdul's Forever Your Girl. I have that on CD, but I don't have it on vinyl or cassette, so them are ones that I do need to look into, that I do want to get as well. Um, Nina Cherry's first album, Raw Like Sushi, I have that on audio CD, but I'm hoping to find it on cassette and on vinyl to really add to, uh, you know, to the, to the collection. Matter of fact, I th matter of fact, I might be able to do those this, this year, since a lot of the music that I'm getting made up within these next four months, just to get them printed out, and then within the middle of the year, around the summer era, a little bit towards the fall, I might actually might be able to get those. If I do, I'll let you guys know, and I'll and I'll show them. It's going to take a bit of hunting around online. But I know it can be done. The Michael Jackson one, uh, that that's gonna have to wait. That might be towards actually a Christmas gift, cause that thing, it's expensive, man. Like almost two hundred dollars. Holy shit! I know the blue vinyl one, I can get around fifty dollars. Um, I know. I think the Paula Abdul ones, like, with the vinyl and cassette format, that's going to do a bit of hunting. So I'm pretty sure I know I'll be able to find those. Um, the Nina Cherry ones are going to end up being a challenge. Because trying to find that on vinyl cassettes going to be a bit hard to do. If I do find it, I'll find it, man. You know, hey. Um... I know when it comes to prints, there's a Prince vinyl I want, it's just that it's always bought out. And that's if you even have the extra money. It's um the hit and hit and run press one vinyl. Very expensive. Around a hundred dollars worth at the most, just to buy it. Um That one's probably gonna be I may have to skip it because you know, it's just always constantly gone and when it is in stock, it's like gone like that. Um, I know they're doing re-released, reissues of some of his vinyls for purple covers on them with the purple, um, vinyls. Um, if they do Purple Rain again for it being a purple vinyl, that I will get. That I do want. I know it is out there when it was first, first released. But damn, that's like expensive now, so, you know. That came out in 84. I wasn't around in 84. So you got to imagine now it be in 2019. It's going to be pretty damn expensive. Yeah, they got some of the singles on purple vinyl. But I want the whole LP, the album on it though. Like, on purple vinyl. So I don't, I mean, you know, it is what it is. But, um, you know, I think for this year, what I'm going to focus on in the middle of this year, you know, is one, I want to get the, uh, at least a Michael Jackson 12-inch video disc vinyl for History Book 2. That's the blue cover with the gold statue. Around 50 bucks. That ain't too bad either. Then I want to focus on get, finishing up uh, Nina Cherry. Um, formats for Raw Like Sushi. So I'm looking for the cassette and full vinyl. Um, and then Shaka Khan, which I just need her album, I Feel For You, on audio CD. Um, and then Paula Abdul, for hers format, I need the cassette and full vinyl since I already have that on CD.
you know, and that. And then, of course, hopefully for Christmas, you know, I can get the uh, Michael Jackson Diamond collection. It would be great if they had San Andres on vinyl. Problem is, the songs that they selected I come from the rock station, though. Like, these are songs that people ain't gonna didn't care about. We want the songs that are gonna really represent the game San Andreas. So when the San Andreas soundtrack came out, it did horribly. Horribly. Oh my god. I wouldn't mind having the whole Vice City box set CDs. For the sound for all the radio stations because that is a great box set. And during that era, you know, it's my it's the eighties era. I love the eighties. You guys know this, man. I'm twenty eight years old, so I know a bit. So I was born really early nineties, late late eighties. Because you had the pop music, you had the good rock, you had the good hip hop music. Oh my god, I just the box set. It's out there, but again, you know, as a collector, it's about. How much are you really willing to spend for that? Like, I found the hip-hop one at Goodwill several years ago, you know? Um, I don't know if the price went down for, for that set. I just gotta look, so that might be something I'm gonna look into again for some time of this year to add to my collection, because that's, I wouldn't mind owning it. For the um, Grand Theft Auto 5 vinyl set, like, they got the CD set. I don't care much for that one. I'd rather have it on vinyl because of the designs on it. And I know it'd be a really, really great piece to add to my collection. Again, not much people gravitating towards it because of the asking price. And it's Grand Theft Auto, and it's Grand Theft Auto 5. And it's multicolored vinyls in there. It's a box set, and you know that strains a lot. This one that was recently added that was a gift. I'm not an ACDC fan, none whatsoever. I can really give a fuck less. But I'm adding it to a collection. You know, I'm not going to be a jackass about it. I have another ACDC one. The only reason why this is in my collection, it belongs to my uncle who is no longer here, and he didn't have much stuff, so. I got that. So you need to understand that that one is sentimental value. Then the last one right here. And that's about it for the vinyl one. Next one is going to be my music DVDs. Now we're into my DVD movie music collection. The first batch I'm going to show you is going to be off. Oh, I understand this has nothing to do with the music. But the music scores that they have in certain episodes within the Walking Dead series are pretty good. And they had an opportune chance to literally put out, for the CDs, at least for audio CDs, is to put out the music that came out for each season on a CD and have it be the same cover art. They missed a, they missed the, uh, yeah, I think they missed that point. They miss that opportunity. Now, I know they have for like season three for vinyl, but I'd rather have the audio CD collection for this. You just have to understand. So, we got Fear, The Walking Dead season one. That had some good scores in it. Uh, Walking Fear, The Walking Dead season two. Great season. Um, Walking Dead season three was a mess. It made no sense. That's why season four was actually a real reboot. So it's season 4.3. So then we got season one of The Walking Dead. That had some good scores in it. Hold on. Let me pause the video really quick. We got season two of Walking Dead. That had some good music scores in it as well. We got season three, which is my top favorite season. One of them. That had some really good scores in it. We got season four. 
that had some good scores in it as well. We got season five. That had some good scores in it. We got season six. It had a, it had some okay ones in there. We got season seven. It had some good scores in it as well. We got season eight. Season eight so some had some good scores in it as well. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna try this again the second time. We're on my music DVD collection. First, okay, I already went through the Walking Dead ones. I'll go ahead and get these piled up. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got 8 Mile right here. We got 50 Cent Refuses to Die. We got American Satan. This is a recently added one. I do recommend this. We got B5, which is my favorite out of the series. We have Cadillac Records. Crazy Sexy Cool. Me and our interview D BT exclusive. We got uh, Get Rich or Die Trying. La Bamba. I do recommend that. Hustle and Flow. We got Michael Jackson's Vision with all its music videos. We got uh, History of Volume 2 DVD. We got History of Volume 1. This is it. Dangerous tour. Bad tour. Life and time of a superstar. We got a uh, straight out of Compton. Notorious. ZZ Top's Greatest Hits. Tokyo 1990 by Prince. We got a Purple Rain Tour. We got the Making of the Purple Rain Tour on 1st Ave. We have Graffiti Bridge. Uh, Michael Keaton's Batman 1989 music score done by Prince that is on the DVD. Uh, we got Prince, Signs of the Times movie tour. This is based off a movie, but they put it into a game, and that is Moonwalker. And I used to have the film. Uh, I don't have it no more. It was on VHS, and I cannot find it anywhere on DVD. If somebody does find it, let me know. Uh, we got Bob Marley Legend on VHS. We got uh, Purple Rain again on VHS. We have La Bamba here on VHS. We have uh, Michael Keaton's Batman again, music score done by Prince on VHS, and we also have the video game, which is based for the Sega, and that is it for the music DVDs. Next is going to be my Michael Jackson collection. Here is my MJ collection. So we got Off the Wall, first, first one I ordered that... 
just wasn't working. Here's one that I ordered that works. Here's another one that I got that's an alternate cover right there of off the wall. We had the re-release of thr uh, we got a original thriller release. We got 25 anniversary ultra cover. And we have another 25th anniversary of definitely alternate cover. We got a one that I made with the with unreleased songs for the album that didn't make it on to it. We have a the original release of Bad. We have special edit edition of Bad. We have 25th anniversary release of Bad. We got uh, the original release of Dangerous. We got a uh, edit edition of Bad. We have the 25th anniversary version of Bad that I made since it was never coming out, so I took it upon myself to make it. So the first disc is the songs that we got from the original Dangerous, and the second disc is the unreleased song that said didn't make it onto the album. Blood on the Dance Floor. This one's worn out really bad. So I got another one. That works. Great album, though. Really great. We have... Now... I've done a video on this. I'm going to give a brief discussion. We have History Volume 2. In the UK, this one came out like this, but it had the songs from Disc 2 on the first History release by itself. Then we got the film version like this, but this is the CD version of Disc 2 and this type right here. And then... Sometime last year, I ordered the edit special edition offline, like the special edition of history with just disc two. People say it's an unofficial release, but I don't think it is. I do believe it is an official release because I clearly do remember history for disc two being released in the U.S. several years later with just this two like this. Those that say it's not official, we got guys gotta remember you guys were babies at the time. Those that actually got into MJ and started collecting years years later. You guys were babies at the time, so you guys aren't gonna remember. Then we got this is it. I do have to get another this is it C D. This one don't work no more and it's like worn out. Uh this one I had to replace. So, here's the replacement. I actually like this CD. A lot of people say it's a fake because it was dubbed over and by other singers. Well, here's the thing. I believe it's real, but it was unfinished, and that's why they had to get a sound alike to kind of go over the songs with the voice, you know. So, it is real. It's just had to get refixed. We have Escape right there. And we have uh, this one I found on the side of the road. It's empty, but I like the jacket, so. Yeah. Then we have this one I made with Prince and Michael songs on it. So, next video is going to be my Prince collection for CDs. It is my entire Prince music CD collection that is U.S. released. So, let's get into it, man. We got this first one.
This was a lot to go through, man. You guys need to bear with me. This one I gotta read it again. This was my first one I ever got of a uh, Prince, and I wore this thing out like wore it out. This one is recently added right here. So that's it for my Prince collection. Next is going to be my cultural funk music. This is my culture funk collection. Not too many. Guns and Roses. I got two more things to go through. Holy shit. Guns and Roses is greatest hits. So my next one's going to be my 90s music. Next. So here's my 90s music collection. After this it will be my uh, 2000s collection. And then that's it. Then I got to put this whole thing together. Then I got to put all this stuff back up first. Yeah, that's going to be really fun.
I think the next video would be my full music game collection that I do have that's not packed up. No, why is like I know some of you can be like, well, get the ones that are packed up. Well, they're not just packed up; they're packaged up. Yeah. Take that in consideration. Okay. Uh, let me turn on this light. Boom. There we go. This was actually my very first CD I ever owned. So, next is going to be the 2000s music, and that's it. And I got the pleasure of putting all this back, and then putting this whole thing together. Last batch, this is my early 2000s music. And, you know, some of these can be skipped. A lot of these are just burnt ones, like mixtapes, sort of uh, deals. But I'll go ahead and just show you guys, anyways. I got all this shit to do. I'm tired though, man. Like, I don't know. I'm tired. And I got the pleasure of putting all this shit back. You guys think this is exhausting? When when I get enough requests to ask for the full. DVD movie collection, that's going to be even more exhausting. And I'm not looking forward to that day. I'm tired, folks. <sighs> Oh boy, he still ain't done. At this point, I'm just saying shit. <laughs> There's probably not gonna be any end anytime soon.
come down to the last one. Boom. It is, guys. Here it is, my entire music collection. Now I got the privilege to put all this back on this show. And I did this for y'all, so I hope you guys enjoyed it.